arrangement of identical cells arrangement of identical cells there is arrangement of resistances arrangement of bulbs arrangement of capacitors similarly there is arrangement of cells according to our convenience we can arrange two types or three types series arrangement of cells parallel arrangement of cells and mixed arrangement of cells but in this topic we will discuss only series arrangement of identical cells parallel arrangement of identical cells now series arrangement of identical cells series arrangement of identical cells series arrangement of identical cells now <coughs> n cells of emf capital e having the internal resistance small r each are connected in series to a bulb of external resistance capital r let us consider here right series arrangement of cells now this is called what to say one cell right next whose internal resistance is small r next cell whose internal resistance is small r next cell right whose internal resistance is small r and so on right now there is a cell whose internal resistance is small r now first cell emf e internal resistance r second cell emf e internal resistance r third cell emf e internal resistance r right 1 2 3 how many cells are there n cells are there right n cells they are connected to right an external resistance capital r to the cells now right here the cells are characterized by every cell is characterized by two first one emf second one internal resistance what is the emf the chemical work done by the electrolyte in the cell to move the unit positive charge from lower potential to the higher potential is called emf of the cell or otherwise the chemical work done or chemical energy supplied by the electrolyte for unit negative charge to move from higher potential point to the lower potential point is called emf emf right is it is the source of the energy emf electromotive force it is a source of energy right this cell is the seat of the emf cell is the seat of the emf cell supplies the energy therefore emf work done by the unit charge energy supplied by the cell emf unit is volt next what is the another parameter of the cell internal resistance the resistance offered by the cell to oppose the current is called internal resistance the resistance offered by the cell to oppose the current is called cell is called internal resistance 
Internal resistance depends upon nature of the electrodes in the battery. The distance between the electrodes in the battery. Area of the electrodes in the battery and the temperature. Therefore, now every cell is characterized by EMF and the internal resistance. Right? For ideal cell, what is the internal resistance? Internal resistance is zero. Now I am connecting right n identical cells. N identical cells. Right? Now right here small r small r small r and there is a capital r now in the circuit two or more cells are available negative terminal of the first cell is connected to the positive terminal of the second cell negative terminal of the second cell is connected to the positive terminal of the third cell and go on connecting finally close the circuit with an external resistance then the circuit is said to be then such arrangement is said to be right what to say series arrangement of the cells now what is the effective right what is the right what is the effective emf what is the effective emf effective emf what is the effective emf what is the effective emf es is equal to e1 plus e2 plus e3 and so on like this now if the cells are arranged in series the effect to emf the resultant emf in the series arrangement is equal to sum of emfs of the individual cells therefore what is the first cell emf e what is the second cell emf e what is the third cell emf e and go on what to say how many cells that is n cells what is the total emf n into n e therefore e s next what is the effective resistance effective resistance effective resistance effective resistance this effective resistance, this effective resistance is called, what to say, Res is equals to, how to calculate. Now, effective resistance, see here, this is the first resistance, this is the second resistance, this is the third resistance and go on. That is, this is the nth resistance, both are connected to, what to say, that is external resistance right all this is r this is r this is r and this is r this is r now in this case the effective resistance is equals to the effective resistance is equals to these are all connected in a series now how can you find there is a current i there is a current i there is a current i current has a unique path Therefore, all the resistances are connected to a series. All the internal resistances are series. Those are in series with the external resistance. Therefore, the effective resistance of internal resistance R plus R plus R plus R plus R. This is called NR. That is NR. Right? NR plus next, what do you say? Capital R. Therefore, in the series, R is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4 plus so on. That is small r plus small r plus small r and so on in R and this is also series. Therefore, this is called effective resistance that is NR plus capital R. Therefore, current in the circuit, current in the circuit current in the circuit i is equal to right total emf by total resistance total emf by total resistance now what is the total emf emf is equal to ne that is ne by total resistance what to say nr plus capital r now this is Suppose a single cell is there, only single cell. 
this is the single cell this is the single cell what is the emf a what is the internal resistance r what is the external resistance r i is equal to what to say e by that is capital r plus small r for a single cell now let us consider total current ne by nr plus r now let us consider in this case case 1 right capital r is greater than greater than nr capital r is greater than greater than nr which one is more this is more which one is less this is less therefore nr is neglected nr is neglected nr is neglected means i is equals to that is ne nr is neglected nr is neglected therefore nr is neglected 0 plus what to say r therefore i is equals to n into what to say e by r now in this case right this is the situation it is compared with the single cell now nr is neglected means nr is neglected means that is small r also neglected if nr is neglected nr is neglected therefore i is equals to capital i by capital r plus 0 therefore i is equals to e by r now whenever we are using single cell right what is the current e by r whenever you we are using n cells which are connected in series then the total current is equal to n times to the current in the single cell. Now, this is arrangement of n cells. Now, this is arrangement of single cell. Right? What is the total current expression? This is the total current expression. I is equal to n e by n r plus small r. What is the single cell current expression? I is equal to e by capital R plus small r. Now, what is my condition? Capital R is greater than, greater than NR. Here NR is neglected. NR is neglected in the N cells. NR is neglected in the single cell. As the NR is neglected, that is NR is 0, N E by capital R. I is equal to N into E by R. Therefore, as the NR is neglected, R is also neglected. I is equal to E by R. Therefore, in the NR is neglected, whatever the current produced in a single cell, whatever the current produced in a single cell, same NR is neglected in the N cells are in series. Now the current is N times to the current in the single cell. Therefore, here we are getting the maximum current. Therefore, whenever we are going to get maximum current, we are using this case which are especially in series arrangement in the case two in the case two that is capital r is less than less than less than nr capital r is less than less than less than nr which one is small capital r is very small as the capital r is very small that is capital r is neglected capital r is neglected therefore i is equals to i is equals to n e that is n e by n r that is n r plus in the second case capital r is neglected zero therefore that implies i is equals to n e by what to say n r n n gets cancelled therefore i is equals to e by small r therefore this is the current expression therefore in this case right where you are going to get maximum current you are going to get what do you say series arrangement of cells